All right. Sorry about that. I'm doing COVID drills here. My wife's the camera woman, so you gotta forgive her if it looks like shit. But most people tell you the golf swing is like skipping a stone. So when you skip a stone, it's teaching you to early extend because when we skip a stone, you see how that comes forward? That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Swinging a golf club is like taking a payload. I got a heavy basket here. You bring it back and then watch how my hips come out of the way and let the payload go through and then rotate to throw it up. Now, if you had this thing full of water, you wouldn't come back here and then go like that or all the water would pull over you. And like my wife said, you tear your back up. But that's what we're doing when we swing a golf club. We're tearing our back up. We're doing that move when we need to do stay down and let the payload come through. Two completely different things. Let me get something heavy. Just to illustrate, this thing is 40 pounds. So if I were to swing it, I got it under under me, and I wanted to pass this thing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass it like that. I wouldn't, uh, I would tear, it, it's, a, it's a bother to do it. I would let my arm swing and I would pass it like this. I would come back and pass it. I would come back and pass it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to wrench. What do I look like, a fucking baloney head, okay? So now let's get it with the club. Same concept. You go back, this is bad. You see how you're blocking it out to the right instead of letting the club pass right on through? Pass the payload, man. There you go. So think if the golf club were 100 pounds and you're passing the payload to the flag stick. Name's Eugene Batiste. Subscribe to T-Box Junkies. If you don't, that's your problem. I'll see you on the T-Box, gentlemen.